with Paul, Paragon Precision Products in Milton Keynes. Yeah. Massive, massive fans of Citizen, Miano, sliding head, fixed head. We're here today though to look at the L20 LFE. First of all, a bit about the machine though. Well, the LFE is a 20 mil machine, but with an option of inch bar stock. So it's a big plus for us. So it gives you a bit of flexibility in terms of that side of things, but also with the bar stock, how can you run that? in terms of standard bar? So we can run guidebush or guidebush less. With the inch option, we can run guidebush less and we get shorter bar ends, so we're saving on raw material stock. We're also able to run HE30 aluminium bronzes without grinding the bar, which is a big extra cost if you have to do that. Okay, so straight away, both great cost savings Absolutely. in terms of remnant and not grinding. Absolutely. Brilliant. Now the machine itself in terms of, it's got spindle, sub-spindle? Yes, it's, uh, it's a twin spindle machine. Uh, we have driven tools on the, on the platen, we have driven tools on the sub-spindle. We also have a B-axis, a manual B-axis as well, for doing angled wire lock holes. Okay, so a lot of flexibility in product manufacturing. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. But Keith, I mean, you mentioned some great cost savings efficiency in terms of your bar, guide bushes, non-guide bushes. Yeah. Um, but we're here to talk about LFB, because that's one of the reasons why I mean, you buy a lot of Citizen Miano machines, but LFE, why this one? Well, the LFE was about 18 months old. We waited a year before we looked to purchase. We saw it, we liked the sound of it. It was like utopia for an engineer. It was the, it was the game changer. And that word's banded about uh, in tooling and machinery as well. But it truly is a game changer for us. Uh, to be able to chip swarf in varying different materials is a godsend to any owner of a company and any manager who runs the machines. So it's a game changer. Okay, so there's options out there. The LFE, the actual the machine is a, the whole sort of product, or you can go the software. Why did you go the LFE and the Citizen? We didn't want to buy an add-on. We wanted a machine that had it already built. So the machine's been built around the LFE, not otherwise. Okay. So we just wanted a machine that was had all the drives, the servos were geared up for that extra load that LFE would, would add to it. Okay, I'm going to ask a couple, I mean, people question in terms of LFE finishing. Does it, does it affect the finishing of the components? The finish is actually burnished, so it actually helps with the finish. Um, also, like I say, when we're doing small components with internal detail, swarf evacuation is key. And the LFE, even with high pressure coolant, if you don't have LFE, you can still incur problems. Okay, what about tool life though? Tool life is, is also improved. We've seen a 20% increase in tool life, but also ab above that, we've got tool breakage, which doesn't happen. So we haven't seen any tool breakage, any failure with LFE, we've seen tools wear eventually, but not total failure. Okay, then cycle time though, what about that? Are they coming down, going up? Cycle time at times can be slightly longer. We can see a slight percentage increase at times, but where the saving is, the, and this is the game changer, we can run complex mill turn components in exotic materials at night, and we've seen at least a 50 to 60% increase in our lights out production. That is a huge, huge percentage. But I'm going to put you to test here. You've got a component here. I have. This is a great example of what you've done. So it talk is. me through it. Well, this part is a hermetically sealed connector. It's for the European market. It's made out of 316 stainless steel. I'm going to have to look up hermetically straight away. Sorry about that, Paul. Absolutely, yes. It's, a, it's not a very sexy term, but I guess it sounds good. So we basically, we, had, we were making this on an A32. Very competent machine uh, with high pressure coolant. Our problem was lights out production. We were having issues with, there's a large deep groove behind the brooch, behind the keyway, and it's very important. So we were finding we were having problems with extra extracting that swarf out of that small hole. Tools were quite brittle, just the nature of carbide. Uh, so we found with the LFV, we can control the chip size, which again, as I said, it's a game changer, because we can control the chip size, and we can adjust that in the software. So it's all part of the software. Okay, and the tools as well, because I mean, Really, really small tools, is yes. that right? Yes, yeah, small diameter tools, seven, eight mil diameter tools, carbide. You don't get a second bite of the cherry. When you get a swarf ingression or a build up of swarf around that tool, in a bore like that, it breaks. You lose parts, or your night production's gone. Excellent, I mean, that's a great example there. So I just want to quote, what sort, sort of percentage were you quoting there? I just want to reiterate that. It's 50 to 60% increase in lights out production. That's a huge, huge It's a wonderful total. thing. Yeah. Excellent. So, Paul, next step, another LFE? Absolutely, I just need to get the price right and I'll absolutely purchase another one or two. No pressure on the citizen guys, thank you very much. Thank you.